Hello, I am Dr. Gajendra Purohit. You are watching our YouTube channel. If you are pursuing engineering, BSc or preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is asked, our YouTube channel is very helpful for you. Today I will teach you how to solve the difference equation in the numerical analysis. This concept is almost similar to the differential equation. This also includes CF or PI. However, some things are different here. I will teach you about it. Okay. And before you understand this, you need to know about the operator. We have a shift and difference operator. You need to know about it, meaning the forward operator is there. You should know. I will tell you a bit about them. Pay attention here, students. And then here we will learn to solve the complementary function of the difference equation. And in the next lecture, I will tell you how we will find its particular integral. Clear, students? So let's start. First of all, I would like to tell you that generally there are two types of operators which are very useful. So students, here we have a forward operator which we can write as del fx is equal to fx plus h minus fx and other operator we have is shift operator. This means that it shifts this one forward by one position. For example, if shift operator is giving you y n then it means y n plus 1 and then we will use this difference equation. If this is twice, then this will be by n plus 2. You need to understand this clearly. Okay. Now, I am trying to tell you that. If you see this, we have del fx is equal to this, which we have fx plus h. We can put e of fx. Is it clear? I can write i fx here. fx will be taken out as common. Then we have a relation in this. Sometimes in exams, if you see this written as del y n. So, first of all, you need to change the del to shift. We can write it like e minus 1 into y n. Okay. Next question, students, we will solve this. And this requires some understanding, which I will try to explain to you later. Anyways, let's come to the point. What is a difference equation? A difference equation is a relation between the differences of an unknown function at one or more general values of the argument. Understood? In other words, we have a difference equation here and we know that the delta can be written as e minus i y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to 0. Right? Then we will put this y n inside and this will be e y n plus 1 minus y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to 0. e means shift operator and we can write this as y n plus 2 y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to 0. Thus, as you can see, we can write this type here. Like here we want to change this, so at this place. We will have y n plus 1 plus delta square y n minus 1 equals to 2. Hence, we can write like this while you can also write del y n like this if you want. Like here it has been given del y n plus 1. This is a forward operator. This is y n plus 2 minus y n plus 1. So we can also write it like this. It is not that we cannot write it like this in its place. We can always write it. Therefore, we will get the same equation. This is something to keep in mind as this is important. This is how we will convert it and we will need it afterwards. We will see linear difference equations. Just as we have linear differential equations, we have the concept of linear difference equations. These y n plus 2 y n y n minus 1 should have power 1 1 1. If the power is 1 1 then it's called linear difference equation like I have given you example here. I hope it's clear. If we have a square on a cube here then that time we would not have a linear difference equation. Have you understood students? How do we solve this problem here? I want to tell you that whatever differential equation we have it's this type of differential equation. Answer on this side is complementary function, while the answer on other side is particular integral. Is it clear? The total answer we will get will be CF plus PI and we have studied CF plus PI in differential equation. Clear students? We will discuss how to find the complementary function. If we have any difference equation, we will set it equal to zero. Then we will write the auxiliary equation. How do we find the auxiliary equation? Don't worry, just follow the steps. Now what should we do here? This is y n plus r. I can write it as e to the power r y n. If we shift this to r time, this will come. In the same manner, I can write this as r minus 1 and y n will come here. In the same way, we will have a 2 e r minus 2 n. This will come as y n. So, this is how it works. Okay. This will be a n y n is equal to 0. This y n take it common from the back. So, it will be e r plus a 1 e r minus 1 plus a 2 e r minus 2, right? Here, we will have a n and at last, we will have y n equal to 0. I hope you get this. Now, put this as 0. 
So this will give the roots just like we used to do in differential equations where we used to find the auxiliary equation. Wherever we had d we would replace it with m and we would find the value of m. In the same way we will convert y n plus 1 1 into shift operator. Is it clear? After converting into shift operator the equation that we will get here meaning the value that we will get. Now put this 0 and this is auxiliary equation. Now we will find the roots. In place of e we will put m and then we will find roots. Moreover based on its roots we will have its complementary function like in a differential equation. Right? How will we do it? Suppose we have any auxiliary equation its roots are these lambda 1 lambda to write all of them are real and they are distinct means different. In that case its complementary function will be this. The complementary function and the solution of this differential equation suppose if it is equal to 0. I will take this example here. We have by n plus 1. Right? If we have to solve a question with difference equation given then first this will be 0. This means only the complementary function will come and the particular integral will be 0. Now let us see how we write it. So listen carefully. It will be e square y n then minus 4 e y n it will be 3 y n is equal to 0. Take y n as common in back. We will get e square minus 4 e plus 3. So y n will come here. Now let us put this as 0. Then e square minus 4 e plus 3 equal to 0. When we solve this we will get e minus 1 into e minus 3 equal to 0. As you can see here we have two values of e. This is 1 and the other is 3. Thus the answer we get will be y n is equal to 1. C1. Okay. Whatever is coming as 1 its power will be n plus we have 3. Then c to 3 power n and this here this will be what? So this will be the solution for difference equation. Right students? Let us see another scenario what we will do in repeated root. If there is real and repeated root then what we will do? I will tell you that. We have a difference equation and here two roots are equal and the rest are different. So in this case the CF is going to be in this manner and I will explain it. I will give you an example. See the screen. Here students we have been given y n plus 2 minus 4 y n plus 1 plus 4 y n is equal to 0. Next will be pay attention students. We can write this as e square y n minus 4 e y n. Right? This will come plus 4 y n equals to 0. We will take y n common towards the back. Then e square minus 4 e plus 4 and y n is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. We will keep e square minus 4 e plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore the value of e will be 2 and 2. Right? Now when it is repeating here then in that case the CF will be C1 plus C2n and it will be 2 power n. Okay? I hope you are getting my point here. We have the CF here like I am taking an example in front of you. Suppose we have an equation like this just assume it. If there is an equation which has roots 2, 3 and 3 here. Now you will be asked in this case what will be the root sorry the CF? Now what will be the equation here? It will be y n equals to C1. 2 power n plus c2 plus c3n and 3 power n. What will we get here? It will be cf. This way we can understand it easily. Now students suppose if we have an imaginary root then in that case what do we do here? If we have alpha plus minus iota beta as the root we need to find r which is the square root of alpha square plus beta square then we need to find theta. That is the tan inverse of y by x which means beta by alpha. Right? This theta and this r's value will be put so r power n. C1 cos n theta plus C2 sin n theta. We will take the value of r and put it here. Take the value of theta and put it here. This will be Cf. Like I will show you an example. This is a difference equation that we have. That is y n plus 2 plus y n equals to 0. This will be equal to e square y n 1 plus y n equals to 0. Then this will be e square plus 1 y n equals 0. And this will be e square plus 1 equals to 0. So in this e will be equal to plus minus iota, right? Students 0 will come here. So you can see alpha is 0 and beta is 1. We will find the value of r. That is alpha square plus beta square. This will be 0 square plus 1 square. That is equal to 1. Then here we will calculate theta. This will be tan inverse beta by alpha. That is 1 by 0. This will be tan inverse infinity and its value will be pi by 2, right? Now what we will do is we will write its answer. So its CF will be YN is equal to. So this is the answer that we will get. Right? It will be our power N that is 1 power N will come and this will be C1 cause we have N theta. So the value of theta is coming as N pi by 2 plus C2 sin N pi by 2. So this is what we will get here. Right? What will this become? It will become CF. Like this we can easily solve it here. Now students del is coming. You know forward operator is coming. 
to solve this difference equation, we need to convert it here to a shift operator first. We can write it like this del cube minus 5 del plus 4 into y n is equal to. Here what will be the answer? The answer will be 0. I hope this is clear. We know that if we put this to 0, then we will get auxiliary equation. Let us keep it like that as we need that. This is del cube minus 5 del plus 4 equals to 0. In this, we know that the delta is equal to e minus i. This is the relation. So, wherever the del is, we will put e minus i. This will be e minus i whole cube minus 5. This will become e minus i plus 4 is equal to 0. I hope you are getting my point. Next, students, see the screen attentively. If we open this, then we get e cube and minus 3 e square plus 3 e and minus i here. Clear till here? And then here we will get minus 5 e plus 5 and 4 is equal to 0. So, when we simplify this, it will become e cube minus 3 e square and then we will have 3 e and 5 e. Thus, we will get minus 2 e, 5 plus 4, 9 minus 1. So, here what will we get? We will get 8 which is equal to 0. So, we will have an auxiliary equation here. So, what we will do? We will calculate its roots and to calculate its roots, we need to check its value. The last constant, look at its roots. What are its factors? We go with 2 to the power cube. We should check it once. Will 2 satisfy 8 or not? So, when you put 2, this will be 8, 8 and minus 4 plus 8. Thus, you can see that here, if you talk about this, I will check this here. Let us see if we put 2 here, it will be 8 and 4 plus 3 will be 12 here and minus 4 plus 8. So, it is becoming 0. Okay. So, e minus 2, which we will have, it will be a factor because what e equals to 2 is doing it is making it 0. It means e minus 2. What will it be? Its factor. We divide by e minus 2 or we write e minus 2 three times. This is the trick, right? You can just divide by e minus 2 and it will be clear. There is another way to do it. We need e cube. So, I multiply it with e square. Now, minus 2 e square. We need what? Minus 3 e square. Then I will multiply with minus e, right students? Now, listen, it will be plus 2 e. We need minus 2 e here, right? So, in this, what should I do? because we have plus 2e, but I need minus. Here, I need minus 4e. I need to multiply with minus 4, okay? So, its value will come up, right? Now, take out e minus 2 common. This will be e square minus e minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, from here, value of e is 2, and here, e square minus e minus 4 equal to 0. The value of e will be 1 plus minus b square. Now, b square will be 1 minus 4ac. 4 times 4 is 16. This will be it divided by 2. So, one root that we will get is 1 plus root 17 by 2 and the other root that we get is 1 minus root 17 by 2. These two roots will come. What will we do now? There are two roots. One is that and the other is this. We will have Cf. It will be Yn equal to C1. One will be 2 power n plus C2. And another one will be 1 plus square root of 17 divided by 2. It is not an imaginary root. It is real. So, C3 will be 1 minus root 17 by 2 to the power n, right? So, here what will this be? it will be cf. We can easily solve it here. This question is saying that yn plus 2 minus 2 cos alpha yn plus 1 plus yn is equal to 0. I hope you get my point till here. So, what will we do here? We know that this will be e square yn minus 2 cos alpha e yn. Then this will come plus yn is equal to 0. And take yn common. Okay. See here students, this will be e square minus 2 cos alpha e plus 1 into y n equals to 0. Now, put this equal to 0 and minus 2 cos alpha e plus 1 equals to 0. What will be the value of e? It will be 2 cos alpha plus minus b square. So, this will be 4 cos square alpha minus 4 ac. This will be 4 divided by this will be 2. e is equal to 2 cos alpha. From here, i am taking common, okay, plus minus take out common factor as 2. And this I will write after taking out common as 1 minus cos square alpha divided by 2. We will find the common term from it. 2 will be cancelled out then cos alpha and plus minus its value is sin square alpha. So, minus is common. This will be sin alpha and iota. Hence, these will be what? Its values will come here. Now, students, we know that we have this and let us assume this as p and q. So, we know that the real part of his cos alpha and the imaginary part of is this, right? What is the value of r? When we have imaginary roots, we will do p square plus. I would do alpha square plus beta square, but alpha is already being used here. We know this will be cos square alpha plus sin square alpha. The value of this will become 1. Now, students, we have theta. Its value is tan inverse. What will be here? It will be q by p, right? As a result, this will be tan inverse and the value of q here will be sin alpha upon cos alpha, right? I hope this is clear. 
So, this will be tan inverse and this will be tan alpha. If we cancel tan from tan inverse, then we get alpha, right? So, this is theta. Now, what shall we write? We will write CF. Now, students, we already know that its solution will be by n equals to here r power n c1 cos n theta plus c2 sin n theta. Right, students? Clear? Thus, this will be why n value for r will be 1. After putting this value, it will be 1 power n and c1. What we will get here? We will have alpha. In place of theta, we will put alpha. So, c1 cos n alpha plus c2 sin n alpha. So, what do we have here? Its answer. In this way, we can solve this difference equation easily. Next question is del square plus del plus 1 yn is equal to 0. So, it will be del square plus del plus 1 is equal to 0. Wherever you find del substitute by e minus i, remember I told you that. So, del has this relationship here, right? Therefore, we will use this here. So, we will have this right. Plus, if you have not seen my operator video, please watch it. You will understand it. If we solve this equation here, we get e square minus 2 e plus 1 plus e minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. Okay? We will cancel this one to one here and we'll get this here. This will be e square minus e end plus one is equal to zero. Now we will find the roots of this. This will be one plus minus b square as one minus four divided by two. This will be one plus minus root three iota by two, right students? So if you write this, it will be one by two plus minus root three by two iota. Hence the value of alpha will be one by two and the value of beta will be root three by two, right? Moreover, we will calculate the value of r that is alpha square plus beta square. This will be 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Now, this will be 4 by 4, that will be 1 and theta we have here will be tan inverse beta by alpha, right? I hope you understood. This will be tan inverse. The value of beta will be root 3 by 2 upon 1 by 2, right students? On the whole, if we solve this, we will get tan inverse root 3 and its value is pi by 3 and this is the value we will get here, right? Hence, the answer we will get here will be y n equals to r power n c1 cos n theta plus c2 sin n theta. Is it clear? Now, pay attention students. We have r's value as 1. It will be 1 power n and c1 cos will come here as n pi by 3 plus c2 sin n pi by 3. I hope you understood this here. In here, so this will be the answer of this. So, in this way, we can very easily solve this type of equation. Now, tell me in the comment box, how much time did it take for you to solve it? And the complete video playlist of numerical analysis is here. You can go and watch them in every video. I have well explained it. If you are preparing for any competitive exam, then you can go and see their playlist. You can also subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.